Now that we are in the spring season, we are starting to see our plants bloom, and that includes invasive plants that actually can be a little bad for our environment. Joining me now to talk more about one of those invasive plants is Jolinda Agers. She is the Natural Resource Program Director at the Iowa University, Iowa State University, rather, Extension in Bettendorf. Jolinda, thanks so much for joining us You're today. You're welcome. All right, so the invasive plant that we are talking about today is the garlic mustard plant that we have uh, right here on the table. You picked it out yourself. Yes, yes, uh, I just picked it this morning actually from Duck Creek Park. Okay. Um, like many invasive plants in our area, they were brought over from Europe um, by the, the settlers. Okay. And unfortunately, there are no natural controls to get rid of them, so they have just spread unchecked. Okay. Um, they form these Spoiler. dense stands and then um, they actually are called allelopathic. They put a chemical into the soil, which prevents other plants from growing around it. Okay. And so in this case, the uh, best and easiest way to get rid of it is by hand pulling, okay. which is why we sponsor um, garlic mustard pulls. Yeah. It, it's very easy to pop out of the soil. And so these plants here now are um, just about to full height. They'll get two or three feet tall, oh, wow, but they okay. do get these um, small white flowers on them also. So it's important to point out that these are not poisonous. So obviously when we go to pull them, obviously if you if you do go pulling plants and weeds, it's best to have gloves, but it, it's not poisonous, but this can be harmful for the surrounding environment and the soil. Like Correct, it's not poisonous. It's actually even edible. Oh, okay. Pesto is a very popular Let's thing to make it. from it. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm not gonna try it on here. <laughs> So, but yes, if you do have this in your yard or if you do pull it from a local park or someplace, make sure you put it in the garbage, not the compost. Oh, okay. Because each plant will, uh, can form hundreds of seeds which oh. remain viable in the soil for up to 10 years. So it's it's best to get a, a handle on this plant as early as possible. So that's probably why we see just an abundance of it each spring because of those seeds kind of multiplying. Yes, yes. So um, we do have a garlic mustard pull yeah, challenge coming up. That. Yes, a, a group called BICAN, by okay. State Conservation Action Network. Um, that will be on May 4th okay. from 9 until 11.30. Um, and it's going to be at various parks throughout the, the region. And But we know that people are, are busy on yeah, Saturdays yeah. in spring. Absolutely. So even if you can't help that day, you can still help pull. So we have all the information on the Extreme Cleanup website. Perfect. So um, you can register for the, we, I think we have six or seven different pull locations around the area. And then we have a few other suggestions for if people can't help us that day. All right, awesome. And we've got that information right up on your screen right now. You can scan that QR co code or go to Xtreme, that's X, the letter X, T-R-E-A-M, dot org and uh, or extremecleanup.org and you can sign up there for one of those events so yes uh, we do have some contact information for the iowa state university extension and outreach office for scott county they are located at 875 tanglefoot lane in bettendorf the number on your screen to contact them 563-359-7577 and you can also visit their website jolinda thanks so much for joining us today you're welcome